My work's focused on finding uh, genes, neurons, and circuits important in behaviors, innate behaviors like sleep, hunger, and also learned behaviors. We've decided to use fruit flies, which have been established as a genetic model for several years now. The fly studies allow us not only to look at the behaviors like sleep, hunger, courtship, aggression, but they also help us give us a view of how the genes, neurons, and circuits are controlling these behaviors. The first set of experiments we did was we exposed them to stimuli that would help them both sleep and court, and they would always choose sleep over courtship. We were able to identify these neurons uh, which are involved in courtship, and these neurons, uh, the activity of these neurons is completely altered when we sleep deprive them. Even though they are not involved in sleep, their activity is changed by sleep deprivation. Interestingly, the neurons we identified, which are important in the sleep uh, sex conundrum for the flies are only present in males and not in the females. And this is also reflected in the behavior level because the females do not show the same preference for sleep over sex. So it's not only that we have now these neuronal connections which support this sort of decision making, we also know that there is sexual dimorphic decision making behaviors. And a lot of animal models people only study males or females, so this might be you know, we might be missing out on a lot of neuroscience of sexual dimorphism of decision making.